Good morning everybody and welcome to our service on this Trinity Sunday. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. We say together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said the first commandment is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these, and on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. Lord, have mercy. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. So let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolve to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And the Collect for Trinity Sunday. Almighty and everlasting God, you have given us your servant's grace by the confession of a true faith, to acknowledge the glory of the eternal Trinity and in the power of the divine majesty to worship the unity. Keep us steadfast in this faith, that we may evermore be defended from all adversities. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. The Old Testament reading is taken from Isaiah chapter 40, beginning at verse 12. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, and marked off the heavens with a span? Enclosed the dust of the earth in a measure, and weighed the mountains in scales, and the hills in a balance. Who has directed the spirit of the Lord, or as his counsellor has instructed him? Whom did he consult for his enlightenment, and who taught him the path of justice? Who taught him knowledge, and showed him the way of understanding? Even the nations are like a drop from a bucket, and are accounted as dust on the scales. See, he takes up the isles like fine dust. Lebanon would not provide fuel enough, 
nor are its animals enough for a burnt offering. All the nations are as nothing before him. They are accounted by him as less than nothing and emptiness. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God? Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Through the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always, to the end of the age. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. May I speak in the name of the living God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Shammai Yisrael, Adonai Evoyenu, Adonai Evo. Shammai Yisrael, Adonai Evoyenu, Adonai Evo. Every week, a hundred school children in my previous parish would sing that as their opening collective worship. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. This ancient confession from Deuteronomy is foundational to all that we say about God. God is one in essence, unity, being, power, holiness and purpose. We talk so much about the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit that we need to remember that they are three portions of the one reality we call God. And yet, this one God has revealed God's self to us in three different ways, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The Western Church has called each of these ways persons, which I think is not helpful because it's not to differentiate them as individual gods, but to identify them as the three different ways God has revealed God's self to us, as well as the three different ways the three are related to one another within the unity of God's being. Father. The Father is the Father, not because God is male, I hasten to add, God is beyond all gender, nor because the first person of the Godhead is like a father. Remember, nothing in the created order is suitable for defining God and capturing his essence, save what God gives us. We call the first person Father because this is the Father of the Son, and he is also the source of the Spirit. 
We call the first person Father because this is what Jesus called him. Well, actually, Jesus called him Daddy. Abba means Daddy. Our Father is the source of all that is. Son, because he comes from the Father, was sent by God as God's incarnation to reveal God to us, to be God with us, to live out his life with and for us as one of us. He wasn't a hologram. He was flesh and blood. We know Jesus is the Son not only because he was male and flesh, but as the Gospel of John confesses, because of his life lived out in filial obedience to his Father. And as Jesus prepares to return to his Father, he promised another advocate, the Helper, the Spirit of God, the present tense of God. The Spirit of God is the wind of God Jesus speaks about in that Gospel, who blows where it will, whose work is to give new birth from above, to transform, to renew, to sustain, to make us all children of God. The Spirit is the lifeline through whom the risen Son is present to us in life, and it's the Spirit's work to make bread and wine Jesus' body and blood for us, and to use it as the means of drawing us into Christ's risen presence so that we can feed on him. The Holy Spirit, if you like, is the Wi-Fi connection between us and the Son and us and the Father because they are all hardwired together in the one essence we call God. This is the mystery of God we celebrate today. Nothing more, nothing less. God over and above us. God for us and with us. God in us and among us. One God, the God revealed to us in Jesus. The God who in the waters of baptism makes us his own. The God who meets us at the table to give us the bread of heaven and the cup of salvation. The God who is in us and among us, using us to share the good news of his love and purpose for us all. Thanks be to God. Amen. We say together the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and on the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. 
Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you promise through your Son, Jesus Christ, to hear us when we pray in faith. Strengthen Pete and Sophie, our bishops, and all your church in the service of Christ. That those who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our world. Help us to be good stewards of your creation. We pray for our country and for Elizabeth, our Queen, our Prime Minister and Government. Give wisdom to all those who have authority and direct this and every nation in the ways of justice and of peace, that we may honour one another and seek the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our community, our neighbours, our families and our friends. And we call to mind all those who are suffering in body, mind or spirit, those separated from their families. Give all who struggle at this time courage and hope and bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Hear us as we remember those who have died in the faith of Christ. For those who will die today and those who will die alone. According to your promises, grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Rejoicing in the fellowship of all your saints, we commend ourselves and the whole of creation to your unfailing love. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Peace to you from God, our Heavenly Father. Peace from his Son, Jesus Christ, who is our peace. Peace from the Holy Spirit, the life giver. And the peace of the triune God be always with you. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Threefold and glorious God, in fatherly joy you created all things through the grace of your word and the wisdom of your Spirit. In the depth of your love for the world, you gave your only Son that all might come to new life in your spirit. You rolled away the stone by your fatherly hand and in the power of your spirit raised your incarnate son from the dead. In your fatherly mercy, you breathed your spirit on the fearful disciples, giving them the fire of your love to live as the body of your son. And so adoring you with apostles and prophets, with martyrs and saints, with angels and archangels, with cherubim and seraphim, and with all your glorious company and bright array, we celebrate the glory of your praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord God, there is none beside you. You are perfect in power, in love and purity. You invite us to join you at your heavenly banquet that knows no end. In this meal, 
we recall the sacrifice of your Son and the sanctification of your Spirit. Send that Spirit upon us now, that we may be made ready to be your companions, and on these gifts of bread and wine, that they may be for us the body and blood of your Son Jesus Christ our Lord, who at supper with his disciples took bread and gave you thanks, broke the bread and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper he took the cup and again he gave you thanks and gave it to his disciples, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is the blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Trying God, in the dance of your love, we see your nature as utter relationship. Be close to all who struggle in relationship at home, in the workplace, across social divides and national thresholds. As your three persons gaze in shared attention, look upon those whose lives go unrecognised. As they work together in true partnership, uphold any who face the struggles of their life alone. As they relish one another in deep delight, revitalise those who live without joy or hope. Make your church a community across time and space that enjoys the gift of your life and imitates the wonder of your love until all come into your presence and gaze upon your glory. God in three persons, Blessed Trinity. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy upon us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy upon us. Jesus, redeemer of the world, grant us peace. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Almighty and eternal God, you have revealed yourself as Father, Son and Holy Spirit, and live and reign in the perfect unity of love. Hold us firm in this faith, that we may know you in all your ways, and evermore rejoice in your eternal glory, who are three persons, yet one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit, to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. God, the Holy Trinity, make you strong in faith and love. Defend you on every side and guide you in truth and peace. 
and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. So go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.